This is the story about a young enthusiastic girl, who wanted to make something out of herself. She seeks her opportunity in a big capital city, unknowingly slowly entering a very politically charged scene. She is quite capable of dancing and she meets a man who is much older than her, and who is going to become the next political leader of the nation. She marries him. The girl actually propels his career to a next level, charming everyone with her common sense, youth and beauty. In fact, she eventually becomes an icon on her own, capturing public imagination with her charisma and fashion statements. However, not to be pigeonholed by the status of a fashion icon, she publicly shows deep compassion for vulnerable people, especially social outcasts and children. This deep empathy eventually transforms her from a mere fashion icon to a true icon, a public figure, who is worshipped almost as a saint. Her meteoric rise to fame however is suddenly cut short by her tragic death. The man by her side will never experience such public support on his own. The popular song, dedicated to her memory, describes her as a candle which instead of shining dimly for a longer time chose to shine brightly and shortly. If you're thinking about Diana, Princess of Wales, guess again. Of course I'm talking about the Evita the 1976 musical with score and music composed by Andrew Lloyd Webber and lyrics and book written by Tim Rice. In 1997 Chicago Sun-Times critic Roger Ibert wrote, For years I have wondered, during Don't Cry For Me, Argentina, why we were not to cry. Now I understand, Argentina should cry for itself. Even poor Juan Perón should shed a tear or two. He is relegated in the movie to the status of a walker, a presentable man who adorns the arm of a rich and powerful woman as a human fashion accessory. It's not like women aren't used to be fashion accessories throughout the history, right? Why these two women were depicted so differently. Evita was considered to be a zealous yet lovable megalomaniac and Princess Diana a queen of Britain's hearts? The answer is time, ambitious, glamorous and both compassionate and motherly figures are started to be seen as equals to men in the political field. Erica's paintings accentuate the abstract idea of strong womanhood, the strong will to have an unchangeable mind and vision, or the sense of calmness, peacefulness and resourcefulness. Despite differentiating and changing opinions, women always had an inner potential and mind to be suitable leaders. This is one of the themes expressed in Erica's colorful paintings. Feel the power of womanhood within, 